So we're about to take a shot, and uh, some people have said no. We've had everybody has said no. Yeah, I mean, you know you know how the game works. It's a number game. You just got to keep going. You feel me? Hold on real quick. Both of you, question for uh, both of you real quick. Does body count matter on a woman? <laughs> nope. No. Like, if you are poetic, if you, like, love her, oh, the scent, shit. you know what I mean? Fuck that. Listen, shut up, man. Who went asking you? So if you love her, it doesn't matter. It just don't matter. Okay. Let me ask you real quick. All right, let's see. Let's see this guy. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Does body count matter? Fuck no. Fucking does not matter. Let me tell you something. It does not matter. Listen, the reason why it doesn't matter is because if you had no bodies, you know I mean, your, your fucking sex is whack in bed. I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to know how good you are if you ain't have no body count? Now, if you had 20... 20 plus. 20... Okay, 20 plus. Give me a number. 20 what? 20 plus. Sorry, like, 21. So 21. let's just say 21. 21. Perfect. That means, how old are you? 21. So if you're 21 and you're 21 years old, that means you had every one a year. That's perfect. That means you're very experienced. You're very ready. Your pussy should be very good and taken care of. Because if you had 21 guys and they all clean, then you should, they're clean and I mean, your pussy is tight because they liked it. And, you know... It's good, me, good for me, good for you, good for business. So. so what you're saying is the more body counts they have, the better pussy it is. No, nope. what I'm saying is this. There's nothing wrong with a little, there's nothing wrong with a few bodies. As long as you keep your shit tight, right, and smelling good, and, you know, as long as you take care of it, you know, your, 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 your pH. As long as your pH is balanced, we're good to go. And if that motherfucker is going like this and tiptoeing and teeter-tottering all over the motherfucking place, we can't even handle that shit. But as long as the, shut the fuck up. First of all, what's your name? Medina. Taylor. What are three things a guy must do on the first date? Like, he has to do it. Um, like, like if he doesn't do this, like, you're like, nah, I don't even want to be in this date no more. Like, I want to go home. They Show have up. to take you surfing. Wait, what? They have to take you surfing. Surfing? Or I'm never talking to them again. So, if they don't take you surfing... I'm never talking to them again. What's yeah. another thing? Um, I need them to buy me lots of food. Like lots. <laughs> lots, of, lots of lots of food. Lots of food, yeah. Let's just say she had like she literally told like she's been a hoe around the block, okay. like every motherfucker knows her. Bro, your first was a hoe. Stop lying. You can't tell me your first. She was a hoe. Right then, was the best pussy. It was bomb ass pussy, wasn't it? And she probably sucked the fuck out of your dick. Sick. Listen, hoes suck great dick. Facts. Period. Facts. Facts. You make a hoe to a housewife, possibly. Possibly, but you might as well worry about fucking your homeboy. So if you're gonna make a whole housewife, make sure you're a polygamist and make sure you're okay with your girl fucking other niggas. Don't make her a wife. Just make her your fucking little boot thigh, your little toy boy, your little toy yeah. toy. You know what I'm saying? Side piece. Side piece. There you go. I want them to take me somewhere that's like not normal. Not normal? Maybe like an abandoned asylum. Like or, under the sea? Or like on a drug escapade. Like something really crazy that it'll make me think like there's no other guy like him. Like you feel like like you just want to be like like a mystery. Yeah, yeah. But what if it's like... I'm an enigma myself. You gotta match my energy. Okay, what is your name? Ruchi. Dan. Okay, the question is... Are you guys a couple? We're married. Yep. Okay, you guys are married. Is it okay for you guys to share each other's pin codes to the debit card? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do that, though. We don't, but we no. could. No. <laughs> we could. I wouldn't mind. Would you mind? No. You wouldn't mind. No. no, they gotta show up on time. You're late, you're out. I'm not even joking with that. You gotta have, you gotta be funny. You gotta show up with the jokes. You can't That's be true. dull. You can't be a loser, you know? Yeah. Oh, they have um, to be spiritually awakened. Uh, what does that mean, spiritually <laughs> awakened? <laughs> they have to, um, like, be in tune with themselves and other people around them, because if they don't, then they lack empathy. Maybe even bring me flowers or chocolates. So chocolates, you know. <laughs> so you, so because there's some women that like you know when a guy brings them like chocolates or flowers on the first day, they feel like it's a little too much. Yeah, it's love bombing. I want to live in a, in a like rom com movie. Okay. So that's that's the dream of my life. Like, so I really like the Notebook. I mean, that's a little sappy, but I'm talking about like something like like rom com. That's just rom, you know. Oh, she's saying like funny and romantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, just, I want my life to be filled with like both love and and laughter and wonder and mystery and magic. Okay. Last question: Does body count matter on a woman? No, it doesn't matter on anyone. You mean like, do I the care how many right? people the guy is left? Huh? <laughs>
Wait, what? Wait, what are we talking about? Body count. You know, like, how many guys or girls you have oh. had sex with? No. No. So, like, if you have, like, 30 plus, do you think a guy will see you differently? Uh, if they're sexist. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, I don't really care too much about body count, just as long as they don't care about my body count. <laughs> Does body count matter from her past? No. I don't even think I know yours. Yeah. No. No. So it doesn't matter. Mm -mm. The past is a past. We didn't get married until we were in our mid thirties, so we acknowledge. <laughs> well, we acknowledge there's a body count. It's not like we're twenty one, right? Yeah. So, Fair. Yeah. Fair. We each have yeah. a past. It doesn't really yeah. matter, though. There's a there's a skeleton in the closet. If you okay. Like. Yeah. That sounds a lot darker than it actually yeah. is, but yeah. So it doesn't matter. No. Okay, so okay. once it's past a certain age, I guess you could say it's just like, yeah. Hey, Anytime it doesn't really matter. I mean, if that matters to you, I would rethink how committed you are to that person. Okay, last, last question. What do you rate yourself? Oh, I don't know. What the heck? Oh, 0 0.35. <laughs> 0 0.35? Hey, yo, this woman is humble. Like a 6? Okay. I say 10. Solid answer? I don't know. You said everything. I yeah, yeah, it's 6. Is that, is that it? Over That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Like, you you tell me what it is. Uh, well, yeah, as far as just overall, I guess I'd say six. I don't know. Okay, Two. now be for real. I don't want 0 0.12. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what? I'm not self aware. Okay. Okay, so you really don't care about stuff like that? No. Nah. That's so. That's dope. Now, is there anything. Is there anything else you guys want to say towards the people? YouTube and TikTok, we're oh, doing everything. Oh, yeah. All right, um, Griffin Johnson, if you see this, I'm available. <laughs> Yo, my name is Griffin Johnson. <laughs> yeah. That girl was pretty bomb, and she gave herself a low ass rating. A zero. What's wrong with you? Yo, I'm, a, I'm about to, I'm about to look for her right now. Please, where are you? She's the one who got away, dude. She's so cute. I was like, yo, you, you think like that, you humble as hell. Honestly. Okay, the question is, why are relationships so hard nowadays? That's a deep question. Uh, there's not a lot of honor, respect, empathy, and morality being taught to this generation. And people are, uh, how do you say? They're desensitized and uh, they don't realize how to connect anymore, you know? And people wonder why there's not very much, you know, long lasting love. Well, mm -hmm. you gotta reconnect with, with your roots and um, so you can honor not just yourself, but other, others respect them for who they are. And I think when you also apply true self love, that's when the universe can send you real love. You know what I mean? I get it. So, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, relationships don't last because many people don't know how to love themselves. They, they go for temporary satisfaction, and that's when they need to learn the truth to un and then unlearn that lie. Yeah. Yeah. I that like was that. That was, that was very beautiful. That One last question: Does body count matter on a woman if it's past twenty? What do you mean by body count? Like the body count, like how many men she been with? Well, I don't know. I mean, everybody's different, but um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, me personally, I don't. Uh, you I'm don't not, care. I, I'm, I'm no, no, no. I mean, I'm not the type of person that throws themselves out to. You know what I mean? So um, I don't know about that, but um, you're well reserved. I'm looking to though. You okay. know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie. I, I look, but like I'm I'm not like fooling fool around like that, sleeping around. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, uh, well, to me, it's like this. Sex is sacred energy exchange. Mm -hmm. And um, when you learn how to value your energy, that's when you know you can better yourself to become a greater version of yourself. And then that's when you can attract that real love. You know what I mean? Like, if you want someone that, that's real with you, you got to match the energy. Yes. And then in return, you know, you connect and you get better in life. And then... That when you ask me about relationships, like how do we make this last longer? Well, if you teach, you know, younger generations, especially your children, true love and respect, and you have a community that can also teach this and have the morality and integrity, that's when we can have, you know, a better 
future for the future coming generations. We can shape a better future that way, you know. We just gotta teach love, you know. That's what it is. I agree. That's yeah. dude, beautiful. That's a very solid. Hey man. Beautiful. Solid questions yeah. beautiful. and solid answering, dude. Hey. Beautiful. Have a good night. God all right? bless. Thank God. you.